It will be the seventh time Ron Lafferty has been interviewed by psychiatrists trying to determine whether his delusional state of mind prevents him from getting a fair trial. Lafferty believes, according to his attorneys, there's an evil homosexual spirit he calls Moroni Lucifer Hitler that's trying to destroy him. Questions about competency first surfaced shortly after the 1984 Pioneer Day killings in American Fork. Ron and his brother Dan claimed heavenly revelation as reason for slashing the throats of their sister-in-law and her baby. In December 1984, while waiting trial, Lafferty suffered brain damage after he was found hanging in his jail cell. Still in April 85, he was found mentally competent. He was convicted and sentenced to death. Then in 1992, the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals reversed the conviction, questioning whether Lafferty was mentally fit during his trial. He was sent to the state mental hospital where doctors determined him to be psychotic and mentally incompetent. Then in 1994, a provo judge ruled Lafferty had regained competency and the judge ordered a new trial. Now the second trial has been halted by Lafferty's bizarre behavior. Defense attorneys say in a memorandum, Lafferty wore a sign over the back of his jail overalls that said, exit only, to ward off an evil homosexual spirit. He has identified other evil spiritual travelers as Buddha, Beelzebub, and Brigham Young. He spiritually cleans his jail cell early in the morning to prevent entry by the travelers, who he says are now threatening the judge, prosecutors, psychiatrists, and even prospective jurors. In two recent hearings, Lafferty stood, cursed the judge, and called the prosecutor a retard. Defense attorneys say he means no disrespect, just Lafferty's way of clearing the courtroom of evil spirits. Judge Stephen Hansen has ordered yet another round of psychiatric interviews before he determines whether to go forward with a second murder trial for the self-proclaimed prophet. Michael Rawson, 2 News, reporting.